what's up guys so today i'm doing my coilovers on the talon it's been needing them pretty bad she sits pretty low as it is right now it is murdering my exhaust so something's got to change and we're gonna get them coilovers on today uh, the coilovers i got were off of ebay they were 211 dollars at the time i will put a link in the description so you guys can get them too Hopefully they'll work out well. They don't look too bad. I'll show them after we see how tall the talon is right now so we can compare it. All right, so we're gonna measure the front here. So all the way down to the front bumper is about three and a half inches. Driver's side in the front, we're gonna measure from the pinch weld. That's about four inches. Go over the rear pinch weld. That's about four and a quarter. Let's try the rear bumper. The rear bumper is 10 inches. Passenger side rear quarter, about four inches. And passenger side front is about three and a half. So it's pretty low, but hopefully these coilovers can change that. All right, so I already cut it open just to make sure these were the right coilovers, and they are. So they're from Max Speeding Rods, pretty well-known Chinese brand. Here they are. So we have camber adjustment on the front only, which isn't a huge deal for 211 bucks. So I can deal with that. So here's one of our rears. Comes with the hardware. Nice and smooth. Got his bump stops built in, anodized orange, a couple little scratches on it, nothing big. And I'll pull out one of the fronts here. Fronts look just about a little bit smaller. There's the camber adjustment. Looks pretty good. Everything's already tightened down on it. Hardware looks pretty nice on it too. This one's got a couple little scratches in it, but again, nothing major. And then of course, we have our max speeding rods adjusters, so we can actually adjust everything. They didn't really coat these too well, but oh well, they'll serve their purpose. All right, guys, we're back. I'm um, using the phone this time because it's pretty dark in here right now. Besides the light going on the MR2's motor, more to come on that. So back on the Talon, I broke the coilovers in. Uh, it's been uh, about 80 miles probably. So it should be sitting a little bit better now. Already off the bat, I can already get my foot down in through there, which is nice. I don't need my low profile jack anymore. So first off, front bumper is sitting at about six and a half. We'll go around the driver's side. Uh, pinch weld is about seven. Let's go towards the back. Pinch weld is at about seven again. Go to the bumper. Bumper sits at about 13. Passenger rear. That's about seven and a half. So still a little bit of adjusting to do, but can't complain too much. And last but not least, 
Passenger front is about seven. So really not too bad. The car definitely sits up high enough for me not to scrape all over. I can actually like see under through the car now, which is nice. Um, the ride on it is very stiff right now. Let's see under here. Oh, maybe you can't see. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on it. Get the flashlights turned back on. There we go. All right, so you can see the coilover is in there. Got it adjusted pretty high. Let's see if we can get all the way in there. Yep, there's the bottom. There's the top all locked in. Let's go check out the fronts real quick. Oh, already got some rust. That sucks. There's the bottom. There's the top. Definitely does sit a lot better though. Um, I didn't have to mess with any of the camber on the front. Uh, it turned out really well. Um, everything else on the car been doing pretty good ever since the rebuild on it. So hopefully I can get a driving video soon of it. But for now, she'll sit here and wait. But as far as the coilovers go, guys, I would definitely say if you're on a budget, go for them 100%. They're totally worth it. Uh, if you do have the money, of course, go name brand. But if you're on a budget, you don't want just lowering springs. These 100% work for me. These are great. The car feels a lot better. It's so much stiffer. And honestly, if you care about the ride that much, I'm sure you can shell out the extra money. But... That's going to be it for now, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.